Hey, this is Rick Terrio, your Maine real estate guide. I'm on location in the town of Weston, Maine. And today, what I'm bringing to market is a 1,536 plus or minus square foot uh, log home. It's a northeastern log home built in 1988. It's a Gambrel style. It's uh, in pretty decent shape, pretty well constructed. It sits on about 13 acres of land here in the town of Weston. It is not on East Grand Lake, but it's got fantastic views of East Grand Lake, and the public launch is approximately a mile up the road. We'll check that out in a little bit. So let's check out this beautiful northeastern log home, 1,536 plus or minus square feet of finished living space, year-round accessible. It's got utility power, and it's right off of U.S. Route 1 here in the town of Weston, coming to market at $239,000. So let's check it out. So the home sits back from Route 1 along this meandering private gravel drive. The open area has just been recently bush hogged. If a person wanted to keep this as an immaculate lawn, you could do that. Uh, you just need to hit this with a finish mower and just keep at it. But it, uh, it was just recently cut with a bush hog. But it's a nice open area. The home is situated to get on nearly 13 acres of surveyed land in Weston. It has a drilled well, private septic system, utility power, and you can see the pole next up in the tree line there. The home was originally built in 1988. The roofing shingles were replaced in 2011. The decks have been freshly painted. The exterior of the uh, of the log home is in pretty decent shape as far as the paint goes. It was recently done as well. It's on a full foundation. It's got a nice sitting area under under cover. Got two entrances into the home here as well as here. This little jet out here is an unheated space, kind of a mudroom area. We'll check that out. It, is, it does have a hot water baseboard furnace. Uses heating oil. There's your fill. You can see East Grand in the distance sit up on a hill you get a nice breeze here kind of get uh, sun uh, all day long um, the house is oriented so the sun rises obviously in the east it sets in the west and, it, and you're going to see that all day long here on this home the septic system is in this area here the tank is just about in that screenshot it uh, and the leach field is out in that area on the opposite side of the home is the drilled well. There is no garage, although there is room for a garage. Again, there's nearly 13 acres of land and this would be a, a decent location in this area here to, to put a garage if someone wanted one. There is a bulkhead entry into the home right here covered up with the tarp. Let's get back here a bit so you can see the back of the home. The home is configured as a two bedroom, two bath. Although you could have three bedrooms in there with one bedroom being the, the living room down on the first floor. Could, could be used as a bedroom if, you, if necessary. But currently both bedrooms, the primary as well as the second bedroom are upstairs.
plenty of room in this yard to have a picnic table or some yard furniture right around the fire pit. Not too far from the charcoal grill. Great place to have a nice family meal in the evening as the sun sets over East Grand Lake. Got this nice covered porch area with a wide view of East Grand. You can see several miles of shorefront. Here's kind of your panorama of East Grand in Canada in the distance. So let's check out the interior of the home. So let's head inside this well-built northeastern log home. Gambrel style, two bedroom, two bath on 13 acres. List price of $239,000. It is being sold furnished. So if you're looking for a place to get away to in Maine, you don't want to buy some furniture. Well, this comes with the furniture. So coming in to the uh, dining room area of the home off of the covered porch section. You have stairs leading up to the bedrooms. But let's check out this main floor first. Here's the other entry that I mentioned, which is the mudroom area. This area is not heated. It is on the foundation. Got concrete right here, concrete floor. The door trim needs to be reinstalled. The house does have storm windows and doors, or excuse me, so storm doors, in addition to insulated exterior doors. This would be an area to take your winter boots off so you don't track into the house. If you've been up here snowmobiling, this is a four season recreational destination. Have a little wood stove in the family room. Have a nice toasty wood fire, although you wouldn't want one today. It's gonna to be very warm, but winter's coming. has some nice kitchen area with lots of counter space and lots of windows. There's a lot of windows, a lot of natural light here. Every view is very nice. Get all the basic appliances, like microwave, electric range, Bosch dishwasher, refrigerator. Even have a three bay, three bay sink, stainless steel, pretty nice. Nice oak cabinets. Have a full bath on this this floor. with a tub, shower, and closure. And a nice wood burning of East Grand, which in Canada is called the Chipetnacook Lakes, which would be the Native American word for these lakes, Chipetnacook. This room here is uh, configured kind of as a family room, although it can be a bedroom. It does have closets. Isn't her closets right here? 
This is a pull-out sofa, so if you have guests that need a place to sleep, this is a sleeper sofa. Here's a great view from the dining room table. of East Grand Lake. That view would not get old. That's just gorgeous. So let's head upstairs. The home does have hardwood floors on the first floor and wood floors upstairs. This northeastern log home is post and beam and log. You can see, let's head into the guest bedroom here first. All the posts holding up the roof. Got all kinds of room for several guests. There's a closet. Now I've sold quite a few homes over the last eight or nine years and I have yet to find a perfect one. And this one's no no exception. It's a very nice home. It's a log and post and beam construction on a full basement. Basement area is very dry, but it does have evidence that it has had some water come down around the chimney. So I don't know that it's ongoing currently, but you probably would want to have the flashing checked, maybe adjusted because you can see that it has had some water come down in that chimney area. And you see some staining on the flooring. Again, right in that chimney area. And the shingles were replaced in 2011. But I would say you'd want to get someone up there to check out the flashing. This is a cute little library area. All the bedrooms up here on the sec second floor do have some nice built-in shelving. Make use of all the space. This would be the primary bedroom. It's very large. It's a kind of a panorama. It's more built-in shelving. Large closets. So let's head down into the basement. So as uh, the construction story was told to me, because this is the first time this home has been on the market. So um, the original builders poured the foundation and capped it off. And they lived in the basement for about a year while they were building the, yep, the log home upstairs. So they spent one winter down here. So they did have, at the time they had a kind of a kitchen area kind of hooked up in the, where this washer dryer are right now. And they had a, there was a full bath down in the basement, the shower, vanity. Lots of workbench space 
for projects. You'll see a service entrance breaker panel. And the mechanicals are over here. This is where your domestic water comes in. There's your pressure tank. There's your hot water baseboard furnace. There's the oil tank. You also have some firewood storage down here for the wood stove upstairs. So if you're in the market for a log home in the country in southern Aroostook County with access to East Grand Lake, this is a four season recreational destination. You can snowmobile here, ITS trails are pretty close, ATV trails are pretty close to the home. Uh, the boat launch, public boat launch, is just up the street, about a mile from this property. When we were doing the tour of the of the interior of the home, if you, I don't know if you noticed in the some of the shots, but there were nets and fishing equipment and ice fishing traps because you can uh, you can fish both open water here and and hard water when the, the surface of uh, East Grand Lake is frozen. Uh, this is one of Maine's fa uh, best fisheries, uh, East Grand Lake, and this is just a wonderful home on nearly 13 acres of land in the town of Weston. Weston is uh, in between Danforth and Holton. Holton is a fairly large community that's the county seat for Aroostook County. There's a hospital there, Walmart, uh, Hannaford Grocery Store, car dealerships, uh, lots of restaurants. It's a, a, a nice nice uh, southern Aroostook community. Danforth is uh, just up the street about five miles. There's a grocery store and a hardware store there, so you don't have to run all the way into Holton for some basic sundry items. But this, uh, this property is coming to market. Uh, 1,536 plus or minus square feet of finished living space, two bedrooms, two baths on nearly 13 acres of land for $239,000. So give Rick Terrio, your main real estate guy, a call at area code 207-731-9902 and let's make this property yours. So I clocked the distance from the home to the public boat launch and it's just 1.25 miles. There is parking available right here, so you can tow your boat, launch it, park your boat and trailer here, or park your trailer and truck here, and head out for a day on the water. And the water's just just up the road, maybe maybe 200 yards. So let's walk up and check out the launch. Uh, so this is an excellent launch facility. The road down to it is probably was paved last year. It's in excellent shape. You got some nice concrete here so you can back the trailer in there with no issues. And there's East Grand Lake before you. So you get beautiful views of East Grand Lake, access to East Grand Lake without the high property taxes of being on East Grand Lake. So check out 768 US Route 1 and give Rick Terrio your main real estate guy to call.